them shooters, them fellas have to stop them thing. Them thing not paying for me, see. That's innocent you killing there. You'll have mother, you'll have brother, you'll have sisters, you'll have cousins outside there. Everybody taking it hard. A bullet riddled Suzuki Swift pulled up to the OKEU hospital on Wednesday night after coming under heavy gunfire. That callous attack left one man dead and another in critical condition. On Thursday morning, News Force visited the hospital to speak with the family of Margaret Joseph, who was left fighting for his life. Babono resident Margaret Joseph and three other people were on board a moving vehicle after just attending the funeral service of 27-year-old Shaquille August, alias Smiley, who was murdered on August 5th. It's so hard, eh? We're taking it so hard. That's if he'll survive the, the what going on there. I don't think he'll survive that. Yeah, the doctors they tell us nothing yet. They just tell us he has two bullets in his head, in his brains that damage his brain cells. A close cousin of Joseph says he had warned him repeatedly not to attend the funeral service. Tell him make sure he be careful going in that funeral. So by the way, I say, I said, don't go to that funeral. He say, what you wear? I say, I don't wear nothing. Just be careful, you know, when you're going to the funeral. And when he went to the funeral, after I get no call in the night and. They kill my cousin. Residents say the sound of rapid gunfire was bone chilling and struck fear into the hearts of those who experienced and witnessed the unmitigated terror of the apparent assault weapon used in the attack. It sounds like an AK 47, but I was there. I didn't really know, but it sounds like a, a mark that opened, so. And I saw everybody came in around. Loved ones say the shooting victim, who has been placed on life support, was far removed from the violent gang life that pervades the rural heartland and urban neighborhoods. They describe Margaret as a fun-loving extrovert who enjoyed partying and having a good time. But relatives who spoke to News Force are wary of the company he kept. I know he's a guy that likes to party, you know. You have friends that go in there, you will, if they say let's go on a boat ride, he, I will say he's going on a boat ride too. You check it, but I don't know him to be no violent guy. You know, for him, the way they shoot up them fellas there, that's, I can say must be their mistake in them fellas or somebody else, but I don't know them fellas in no shooting, nothing, so. Let me go to the hospital, let me go I know me, I will let me, my, 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 my wife, my wife, you are my wife, me, 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 me. I don't know. I don't know. But I hope they get justice for Mugaret. Because he didn't deserve that. The only problem is, like, sometimes it's just the company you keep. He was not into those things, but he just liked being, you know, to see, you know, the, the company. That was his only problem. You understand? Know, apart from that, Bulom was loving to all his family. As Margaret Joseph clings to life, loved ones beseech the authorities to act with a sense of urgency to quell the violent crime wave. Families cannot go on like that. Every day like that is a murder, 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 murder. Where are we going? Mr. PM, Mr. Commissioner, do something and do it now. Relatives hope desperately that Margaret Joseph pulls through. But for now, the prognosis appears grim. Police reportedly have one man in custody in connection with the Chaussee Road Wednesday night shooting. From the OKEU hospital, Solaj Alfred for the HTS News Force.